Hello, it's Blake here. We're talking about Dollar Tree, things you can resell online, Amazon, FBA, eBay, wherever for a profit. I've been doing this for a while. I have my DVD lead list, and to make sure that lead list that I'll link to below if you want to buy it uh, is always accurate, always up to date. I've been going in every few days, checking the restock, so that's given me more insight into Dollar Tree's merchandising and inventory schedule. We recently found out that Dollar Tree's long-term inventory plan is to have fewer items on the shelves run more lean uh, as a way of cutting costs so what we're doing in this video is showing a few things you can resell right now for a profit uh, but also show the things that are in stock the Christmas stuff for example the toys for example so we can look to see how that market changes over the next few months because if they do lower inventory numbers as a way of having less manpower less stocking time to save money that means the items that we see that are in demand are going to be worth more on secondhand marketplaces. The main obstacle for Dollar Tree Christmas item resale is not that these items are not going to sell because pretty much everything on here that's made with any uh, relative amount of, uh, of sturdiness is going to sell on eBay in some quantity. It's a matter of finding what is like the hot item. So what I'm trying to do is I went to a few stores. This one luckily was just freshly restocked. Uh, so I can compare what I saw here to other stores. Uh, the Christmas tree toppers, those ornaments with uh, portrait slots for pictures, those all sold extremely fast. Everything else, these larger signs, the bigger stuff, the flimsy stuff, that does not sell so well. Now looking on eBay, I've not seen a, uh, an extensive sales history, but it also is only the middle of October. Uh, very difficult to predict what's going to be like the big winners, but I can say with relative certainty that most of the ornaments, most of the, the, the smaller, just more generic items should sell for between 3 and $5 plus shipping. The next area I checked out was the collectible section. I'm looking for sports cards, specifically football cards, either Donruss or Absolute. I found these NBA Raptors playing cards, not trading cards. Uh, these NBA cards are going to sell for about 5 bucks plus shipping. The Raptors version, there are just a lot of them right now for sale. None of those are selling. But if you've got Lakers or any teams like that, the Bulls, I assume, those are going to be in demand. I'm looking for sports cards because the Donruss value packs are in stock at Target at Walmart. And last year, about two or three weeks after those stores began having large amounts of value packs, we began seeing gravity feeds uh, at dollar stores. It might be that this year we don't even see Dollar Tree football cards because the market is just nuts right now. But make sure you're subscribed because if we do see them at Dollar Trees, Dollar Generals, any real budget store, if you watch my videos, you'll be the first to know. As I peruse the candy aisle, I'm not seeing anything that crazy, that new. Most of the new candy is in the Halloween candy section and that's all pretty much, uh, well, in terms of resale, run its, uh, run its course. But what I do want to bring up is that it's now colder out, or at least in most parts of the country, it's colder. So you can begin to ship meltables either on Amazon FBA or on eBay. And what I, what I bring that up for is because of the Haribo items there are at Dollar Trees. Generally, Haribo stuff sells very well on Amazon, very well on eBay. And now that it's past, uh, I believe it's September 1st, you can sell that multiple stuff. The going rate for Haribo gummies is between $3.50 and $5 a pack. And individually, that's not very profitable, but I've seen lots of 10 sell for between 35 and 40 bucks of Happy Cola. In fact, one just sold today. The demand for Haribo gummies can be very high, so that causes prices to fluctuate dramatically, meaning if you see uh, a certain price for Haribo berries today, it might not be the same price that they are tomorrow. And if you're gated in grocery for Amazon FBA, I have a video that shows you how to fix that. I'll link below. Dollar Tree Health and Beauty are two reliable categories for Dollar Tree profitable flips, and this charcoal powder, the charcoal toothpaste, the charcoal toothbrush, those are no exceptions. Charcoal stuff is very popular right now, very trendy. So if you can put this in bundles or individually, you stand to make a decent profit. Previously, I sold the Brush Buddies toothpaste as well as the Colgate Ultra White with charcoal. I made about four or five bucks per tube. You could bundle them together, put a toothbrush, put the, uh, the powder. I'm not exactly sure if the powder is a toothbrush 
uh, replacement or a toothpaste replacement. I assume a toothpaste replacement. You bundle them together. That one's bamboo. These are really great dental keywords. Uh, and if you have these cross listed across multiple marketplaces, I mean Amazon, I mean eBay, I mean Facebook Marketplace, I mean wherever you generally sell things on, you stand to make some decent money. I'm curious and I'd love to know in the comments, if you have a beard like I do, do you buy beard oil? And if you do, how much do you pay for it? Generally, I find myself paying between like 10 and 20 bucks, depending on the scent and the brand. At Dollar Tree, they have one ounce and half ounce containers, the power sticks a half ounce what you just saw previously the softy is one ounce beard oil containers for one dollar now uh, the only way they are selling on ebay is in lots of three or five but at that one dollar per unit buy cost there certainly is a lot of money left on the end out of curiosity i bought these both for personal use so i will make a review video in the near future i went over to dvds to see if there are any new titles no there are not new titles uh, i expect to see new titles either next week or the week after dollar tree has been getting new dvd titles every month and i've also heard rumblings from you guys in the comments and on instagram that there are video games at Dollar Trees, PS4 games, Xbox One games. So if I begin to see those, certainly I'll make a video on that, uh, telling you which ones to buy and which ones to avoid. All of these titles are relatively worthless, but if you do want to know what DVDs are selling for huge profits, I'm talking like some of these DVDs are going for over 20 bucks on Amazon, I do have my membership list linked below. Generally speaking, when it comes to toys, we're trying to focus on licensed or branded items, but sometimes, we're going to see in a second, you can get pretty lucky. Now, I love these. They're like fossil finders uh, right there. To the right is a crystal growing kit, a crystal tree kit. Both of these uh, kind of like science experiment type toys are very cool. Very cool indeed. Uh, we're seeing the crystal grow kit sell for like between 8 and 15 bucks and the, I'll call them fossil kits, for like five to 10 bucks. Now this specific brand is not for sale on eBay, but because they're activity based, I think if you were to buy these and use the right keywords, you would still sell them. I'm also always on the lookout for new minifigs. Uh, they have Master of the Universe, Finding Nemo, Paw Patrol, various Nickelodeon uh, characters, Spirit. What I did see at other Dollar Trees, but not here, was WWE wrestling characters. Those were selling pretty good. Uh, everything else here, like this Final Faction, which is a Dollar Tree marketed toy brand, the market's kind of flooded. Uh, what I would recommend doing is always, if you see something that looks cool or unique to you, look it up. Uh, I'll put on screen a few examples of like rare minifigs you can buy, but for the most part, it is just trial and error searching on eBay. If you're curious what people buy those for, beyond being a collectible, they are used as cake toppers, so that might be a good keyword to use as well. Over into the toy car section, a lot of Matchbox cars, a full Matchbox restock, but no Hot Wheels. I have not seen Hot Wheels anywhere. Even the targets around here are low on Hot Wheels. Most Matchbox cars are going to have random sales in the $5 to $7 range, but the one chase car is the Tesla Roadster. It's 4 out of 100 2021 current year uh, model of car, I suppose you might call it, and you're going to find those at Dollar Trees, although relatively infrequently. If this video brought you any value at all, I encourage you to like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and comment below with what you thought the most valuable item was. For my money, it's the beard oil. A dollar for an ounce of beard oil saves me like 40 or 50 bucks a year. Not a huge amount of money to save, but still, every penny adds up. Thanks for watching. As always, don't be a shithead, and I'll see you later.